Welcome to the Rustic Garden Homestead. Today I'm going to be potting up blackberries, raspberries, strawberries, other canes, fruit bushes, anything that's really multiplied over this year. I'm going to dig it up and I'm going to put them into large containers. They'll overwinter into containers and I'll have plants for next year. I want to show you the one-third method. It's the, really the most expensive cost in potting up is buying the potting mix. You don't want to go and buy potting mix for $12, $14, $16 a bag. Make it yourself. And this is called the one-third method. I have videos on making seed starting mix, potting mix, and this is generally follows those principles, but this is really, really easy to do. First thing you need is a compressed bag of sphagnum peat moss. You can replace that with cocoa core if you want, but you need peat moss. You need a bag or your own compost. This is leaf grow, so it could be leaf mold, it could be compost, any quality compost that you know is mostly broken down. And then any bag of topsoil. All these things I bought at the store. Of course, if you use your own earth, your own compost, it'll be even cheaper. But I'm working this on the assumption that you want to pot up and I don't want you to be spending all that money on bagged products. You can make better stuff and it's a lot cheaper. It might cost you a little more to get this initially, but you're going to make so much and save so much money it's worth it. You take one third topsoil, you take one third of your compost, and you take one third of the peat moss. One third, one third, one third. You mix it together. That's the per perfect potting up mix. Use it for anything really. I also recommend asking family friends to save their containers when they do landscaping or have plants put in. This way that doesn't cost you any money. I dug up some blackberries. Most of the roots are showing. Raspberries. I'll show you real quick, you know, what that looks like. And I'm going to do strawberries. This mix is going to save you a lot of money. For the blackberries and raspberries real quick, you want to get as much of the root as you can. We're not going to fertilize this right now. We're just going to water this in with a water soluble fertilizer. There'll be plenty of nutrients in there. The whole goal is nice loose soil that holds moisture over the winter. We'll worry about the rest come spring. If you want to subscribe and follow me, I'll show you how to plant these plants that we're saving. But blackberries and raspberries are going to probably take two years. You'll put them into the pots now, they'll establish. You put them in next year, they set up their canes. Maybe you'll get some fruit, but it's really going to be the following year that you get a whole lot. Strawberries are going to be ready to go. You can use this potting mix for anything you want to pot up and save over the winter. Just real quick, these are some blackberries that are popping up in places I don't want them. So you want to dig up as much as the root ball you can. You can knock off the dirt and really with blackberries end up with something like this. Get that into the pot and then just put in that one third potting mix that I'm talking about. If you can keep more soil around it, the better. But these plants again are smaller. They're going to survive. They're going to set up and then they'll go into the places I want them to go next year. And I basically do the same thing with raspberries. Here are some of my strawberry beds. They did really well this year. They put out runners, they've come over the side, and now they're down in the ground. I'm just gonna dig them up, bang the dirt off, put them into, you know, smaller, I don't know, pint containers or something like that. They just need to get the roots into a smaller container they can take the freeze, all these plants can take a freeze and they're going to do perfectly fine. I have plenty of videos on showing you how to up pot all these. Just go to my channel, look up strawberries, blackberries or raspberries. I'll explain the process at the end and just show you what I did. The key, really inexpensive potting mix. Make it yourself, save yourself a lot of money and then you can propagate. I'm going to get at least, seriously, probably 75 strawberry plants out of here. That's a ton of savings and they will go into other parts of my garden. These are my black raspberries. The single cane there and single cane there. They grow really tall, 8, 12, even maybe 16 feet tall. They bend over, they come and touch the ground. As the tips come to the ground, they know that they're ready to root out. And you can plant these. This one's just starting. Let's see if we have another one. Those are just getting into there. So I would actually bury them, let them root out a little bit. If you come down here, you have a raspberry plant that is already in the ground. There are roots down there. So I have one plant, two plants, three plants. I will cut this off here and then cut off each of these. And that's going to give me three plants. You're just going to dig this up as deep as you can, get out most of the roots 
you can actually shake the dirt off, put them right into the container. Um, raspberries are really hardy. But if your raspberry plants haven't touched the ground yet, you can, you know, force them down to the ground, put a stone or a brick on them, let them contact the ground, and they're good to root out. They'll be perfect for propagating later. I like using a wheelbarrow. You could use a tarp, and it's again one third, one third, one third, and then you just mix everything together. Now, the reason that we're not putting any organic granular fertilizer in, and you can do that if you want, is all these plants are being put in towards the end of fall. They're going to overwinter. They're going to be dormant. They're not really looking for any nutrients. However, we have the leaf grow in there. That's going to provide nutrients, and then. We're going to just water it in with the water-soluble fertilizer. You could do that now. You could do it early spring. That will give all the plants nitrogen, and that's what they really need to take off and get started. This is, you know, the perfect potting up mix. It's going to stay loose. It's going to hold moisture. It's not going to be overly soggy. The plants are going to love it, and it's super inexpensive to just make it yourself. This is pretty much how I would pot up blackberries, raspberries, any other canes. You want to match as much as the root you got to the size of the container. So this one, pretty good. You know, that's what I would do. Drop in the soil and then after it's filled halfway, just give it a little tug up, finish it out, press it in. You want it to be pretty firm. This one-third, one-third mix one third, yeah, is that th three one thirds? It's really fluffy, so you can't really overpack it. And that is perfect for this raspberry plant to survive. For a bigger plant, and again, all these containers I collect from friends and family. You may want to put a little bit in the bottom, and then the whole blackberry plant's going to go in just like that. You can, you know, keep it close to where. It was when you dug it up, like this green was above the ground, but it's okay if you go a little bit, you know, deeper or something like that. And we're just dropping in the mix just like that. As you're putting it in with these bigger containers, you can kind of move it around, let the roots separate a little bit. The whole key is when you pull these plants out, don't let them sit in the sun. You don't want the roots to dry out. We're not hoping to plant this and get a ton of blackberries next year. We're just hoping to overwinter this plant, get a nice root system, we put it where we want it to be. These canes may produce some fruit, but they're going to establish, they're going to send up new shoots, and come two years from now, they'll be nice big, you know, eight, ten foot canes for your blackberries. Press it in, and just that easy, we've potted up two plants. These are easily I mean, when you're buying something like this, you're still paying nine, twelve dollars. Something bigger, you're probably paying twelve to fifteen dollars. The biggest expense is going to be the potting up mix. And if you want to, you know, spend a little bit extra up front, it's not more. It's just your well, it's not extra. I should say it's more. You're spending more up front, but you're using it in a way that it becomes much more cheaper than buying those bagged potting mixes at you know twelve fourteen sixteen dollars a bag so yeah it's more money up front but you really save money in the long run and then I do label everything masking tape painters tape or something this way I know what I'm growing next thing you want to do is really water them in let me show you some of the strawberry plants strawberries are pretty straightforward you're gonna dig them out there's gonna be a lot of roots you want to put them into the container right to here right where my thumb is you don't want to bury them over it's gonna die off you want to keep the crown above the level of soil. Remove everything except for maybe one or two leaves and you're going to be really good to go. This size of a container is perfect. I'm in Maryland Zone 7. We get freezing winters. You would just drop in a strawberry plant like that. You could spread the roots out if you want, but I found it doesn't really matter. The plant figures it out. Put in your potting mix. Press it in. Lift it up a little bit if you need to. You know, something like that. That's well above where it needs to be. Even if, you know, a little bit of loose soil falls on there, that's fine. But this guy's going to survive. You can pot up all the strawberries like this. That was four plants out of a little tiny space. Like I said, I'm going to have tons of strawberries. And when you go to buy these, they're like three, four, sometimes five dollars for a plant. The raspberries, I cut that raspberry out, you know, from the top, dug up most of the roots, and 
See if I can do this with one hand. And then you just get to cut off the plant. So these are the roots. I want them to go into something like this. Get the strawberries out of the way. And that's going to work just fine. Tuck everything in for the raspberry plant. I'm going to fill it to the top. Give it a shake. Let the air pockets disappear. Press it in. And then everything's going to get watered in. You want to press the potting mix in. It's light to begin with. Give them something to really grow into. It doesn't have to be, you know, super light. It's already porous. You can't overpack it. But give them something to grow in. It's going to hold water. They're going to be perfectly fine. And this is just a great way to propagate plants and save yourself a ton of money by making your own potting up mix. I really like this ratio. You can adjust it however you want, but the one-third topsoil, one-third compost, one-third peat is perfect. It's going to save you money. So thanks so much for watching. Please check out my seed shop at therustedgarden.com. Please subscribe and follow me. I'll show you how I plant these in the spring, show you how I take care of them. And please check out my blog at therustedgardenblog.com. Thanks again for watching.